you guys look at my tree she's not even done um she needs some stuff but guys i decided i need to take down some of the halloween stuff still by the way but i just made everything a little bit extra this year because we're feeling extra those are always up that's not there but we're coming along and i'm so excited because i love decorating it's like one of my passions so anyway, welcome back to Vlogmas. When you see a video where you don't see my face, it just means I did not want to put makeup on. I did not want to get beautiful. And really, you don't need to see my face to talk about perfumes. <laughs> so today, we are doing a perfume declutter. Um, I've done a couple of these on my channel. This is the last one this year. The reason I'm doing this is because it is the holiday season. I honestly have purchased a few more perfumes. And there's some that just are not getting enough love. I've learned with my makeup collection, with collecting makeup over the years, too, that it doesn't make sense to keep things that expire um, if you're not going to use them. Like, someone else could very well love it and use it, and it's nice. So, I decided to make this kind of like a game. I'm so ridiculous. So, I have three bags here. We're going to do in the order of I love it, gotta have it, it's amazing. And of course, the Madeline bag gets that because who doesn't love the cappuccinos and <laughs> the quiche from Madeline? Um, the fake Louis Vuitton bag gets a like. And yes, that is a fake. I want it at a fair. So don't hate me for it. Okay. And the last bag, I don't want to call it trash because a lot of people are like trash. And I think that's kind of like rude. Um, so I said declutter and then in little part, this is the best without which means trash. And stuff. So... On my little cozy couch, we have all of the perfumes. I won't do all the samples, okay? I'll do the 10 ml and some of the scented stuff, but no, we're going to go one by one. How fun, right? Okay, so La Petite Robinard Black Perfecto by Guerlain. So this is a licorice cherry vanilla perfume. It has a leather note. Um, it's very different from the original La Petite Noir. Noir. It's a bad bitch. Femme fatale. Beautiful perfume. I like it. I don't love it. I have other perfumes that kind of do the same thing for me that I love, but it's a strong like, but I wouldn't repurchase it. So it's going in the like bag. Okay. Britney Spears Curious. This is a perfume I've had since I was like 14 years old. Um, I think it's wonderful. It's like a tuberosey white floral. It's very fresh. It's not sweet. It's very particular. It's it's curious, you know? Um, honestly, I like it. There's not a lot of things that smell like it. People typically don't like this perfume. It's either a love or a hate. It's a little aquatic, but I love it. This is a repurchase for me. I've repurchased it multiple times. I think this is highly underrated. It's a very, very good classic Britney perfume. Um, it's beautiful. It's elegant. And yeah, I love it. Lasting power kind of sucks, but it's a love. So we have Kate Spade Live Colorfully Luxe. So you know what, you guys? I did like this, like, quite a lot, but the lasting power is horrible. Oh, my God. Like, I tried it one day, and I thought it lasted okay, but it becomes a skin scent super quick. Um, I don't know if it's just because it's the winter. Um, and I have better perfumes that are... <sighs> I don't want to say that are like this, but I have better perfumes that give the same vibe. So this is a lactonic, like creamy, spicy oriental perfume. It's not sweet at all. It's very different for Kate Spade. It's something that you would expect a niche brand to come out with. Um, and I honestly, I think people could love it more than me. Um, I've given it a few tries and I do like it, but I don't love it at all. I barely like it. So I'm so sorry, Kate Spade. I've colorfully luxed. Is the first one. Um, so this next one, Tommy Bahama St. Bart's. This is a tequila margarita. Very interesting summer fragrance. Um, it's definitely more sophisticated than um, Escada or a lot of the other summer perfumes I've smelled for women. It's incredibly beautiful. If you haven't tried this, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend this brand for like summer tropical vibes that are different. Um, this one almost smells niche because who puts tequila in a perfume, you know, but I think it smells amazing. So this is actually going to be my first love. We have Britney Spears VIP private show. So I actually like this one much better than the original private show. It has like a passion fruit note in addition to like an almond 
cookie type vibe. It lasts a really long time on the skin. It's actually a very good perfume for being a celebrity fragrance, and I think it smells really, really, really good. Um, you can wear it during the winter uh, because it has like the almond and the vanilla, or the summer because of the passion fruit and the fruity notes. It's also really pretty. However, would I repurchase it? No. I don't know why, guys. Like, it's just not special enough to me to repurchase it, but I like it. It gets a strong like, almost love. So it's also going to go into the like. So Estee Lauder Modern Muse. I've talked about this before. Um, this is a musky, like white musk, jasmine, orange blossom, honeysuckle perfume. It's gorgeous. Um, it has Narcisa Rodriguez vibes, but it's a bit more smooth of a fragrance. It's a very clean fragrance. It smells super good. Very girly, very feminine. I think a lot of people love this. Guys happen to really like this too on me. I've gotten lots of compliments from men. Um, so this is a love. Like, this is one that I think I'm going to repurchase. It's like a forever perfume for me now. Um, really like it. You guys ever have a perfume that you love and then you wear it and then something bad happens while you're wearing it and then that memory is tied to it? Well, that happened with this perfume. I'm not going to go into details of what happened, but like, I like the way it smells. I do. It has like a juniper. This is Victoria's Secret Love. It's a juniper, apricot, like very spa-like sort of fragrance. I mentioned this in my cozy fragrances video. It's very cozy, very comforting, but I'm going to have to wait a while to wear it. It was a love for a while, um, but just because like that particular event happened, I'm going to have to wait and see, you guys. So this is like... And I may end up decluttering it if that memory just stays tied to that. Givenchy, Ange Odimon Eau de Parfum. This is my bad bitch perfume. It's super polarizing. It's like a lactonic oriental, slightly, slightly like spicy, vanilla, creamy, very sexy, very femme fatale, like very much Margot Robbie vibes, like super beautiful, classy. Like, I wear this when I'm in a mood. This is definitely Femme Fatale, but this is literally one of my favorite fragrances in my whole collection. I love it. So this is a love. What do we purchase? Oh. So, Salvatore Ferragamo Signorina Misteriosa. I've talked about this a few times. And this is going to be my official <laughs> November fragrance of the month. Um, I didn't do a fragrance of the month video because I just didn't get around to it. I had so many other videos to film. But this is a blackberry whipped cream dark sweet, sticky, gourmet, sexy perfume. It's beautiful. I honestly would repurchase this a million times. I actually, I'm going to buy a backup of this one. This is like literally one of my favorite perfumes in my collection. So love, love. Next is Yves Saint Laurent Lieb. Um, it's a beautiful, comforting, vanilla, lavender perfume. I've talked about this before. If you watch my channel, you know how I feel about it. Um, 10 out of 10 would recommend one of my favorites. It's a love. It's going in the love. Would have purchased a million times. Paco Roban Olympia. You know what? I love it. I do love it. Like, I'd repurchase this a million times. I just hate that some of my favorite perfumes, a lot of people like them. Like, I'm not that that bothers me. I really don't care. But, like, this is a very popular fragrance, I feel. I feel like it's something that a lot of people would probably have. But it's beautiful. It's a salty vanilla sort of like ocean vibes type perfume. Um, for the summer, it's amazing, but you can wear it year round. It's going in the loves. Here's Midnight Fantasy. Um, this one's going to be a love. This is a, a repurchase for me. I've been repurchasing this perfume for about a decade, maybe longer. And it is like a raspberry, red berries, like like, it looks like the color of the bottle, the way it smells. It's sweet. It's girly, kind of shampoo-y. Um, when I don't know what to wear, I usually just throw this on. <laughs> I just know I'm going to smell good. And, um, yeah, I think anyone of any age could wear this. A lot of people say this is more of a young perfume, but I'm 30 years old and I wear it and I feel fine. So, love. So, I feel like in this corner is literally all the perfumes. Well, most of the perfumes I'm, like, in love with. So, Ange Udimon Le Secret in a Parfum by Givenchy. This is one of the most underrated perfumes I've ever smelled in my life. It is a cranberry, white tea, very feminine, clean, like, airy fragrance. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like, if you like tea fragrances, if you like stuff that's slightly sweet but not too sweet and you want something that's good for every day and that's very classy, you should really try this. I feel like this is something that would be really hard to dislike as well. Um, but no one talks about this. This is a highly underrated fragrance. I absolutely love it. It's a love, forever love. 
So <laughs> CK1 shock for her. This is a fragrance I was using for a while for the gym. It's a like. I wouldn't repurchase it. It is has like a, the CK1 um, DNA, but it has like a sweet peony and berry note to it. It's good. It's very girly. It's very clean. It's a cheap perfume that you can just wear and you will smell very clean and very pretty and girly. And it's not um, cheap smelling. And yeah, I like it. It's a good one, but it's not a repurchasable perfume. This is one that you two made me buy. This is Choco Musk. I do like it. It's not a repurchase. It's just literally chocolate. It smells like milk chocolate. Um, this is like a $10 perfume from Amazon. It's good for layering, but to me, it wears off rather quickly. It's not a perfume that lasts very long on the skin. I would say maybe four hours, but then it gets 10 bucks. Um, but I don't know. I have, as you can see, I've used it a little bit, but not that much because I can't think of a time where I literally just want to smell like, like milk chocolate. So <laughs> needless to say, I used to, um, layer this when I had my, um, Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium, but I have since decluttered it because it's not really my type of fragrance. Um, and it layers really well with those type of fragrances. So, I mean, it's a like, but no to repurchasing. Salvatore Ferragamo Encanto Charms. This is a very like summery, girly, like fruity floral, very fresh, um, passion fruit type vibes. It's good. It's very underrated. It kind of does give me like the Escada -y vibes, but again, like the, you don't notice I don't have Escada perfumes. Not that I hate them or anything. I just feel like they're a little bit typical and kind of cheap smelling. Um, this one is, it smells expensive and it's nice. So if you like that type of vibe, um, I think you would like it. The only thing is like, I don't know if I would ever, when I'm going to use this, probably in the summer. Um, I like it. I will keep it. It's not like a hate, but it's not a repurchasable perfume. So I talked about this one in a video recently, how this is okay. It's like the most okay perfume I've ever smelled in my life. It smells fresh. And this is Marc Jacobs Daisy Uso Fresh. It's literally just like a fruity floral with like some lily of the valley and some green notes. And it's just like bright and it smells like it looks, but to me, it smells a little bit cheap. <laughs> um, needless to say, I don't think I'm going to like declutter, declutter. I think I'm going to give it to a family member. Um, but for now it's going to go into the declutter pile. So this is Jessica Simpson 10. Um, it is a white chocolate, like white floral perfume. It's very, very different from I think any of the floral perfumes I have. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's extremely elegant. It's very underrated. I love it. I would repurchase this 10 times more. I think Jessica Simpson makes the best celebrity perfumes. Um, I highly recommend this one. Fancy, fancy love. Um, and then the new Fancy Forever, I really want to try it. I haven't smelled it, but like most of her perfumes are legit. So this is a love. Miss, um, Eau de Merveille. I would repurchase this a hundred times. It's rather up there, I think, in price, but it's really mu very much worth it. It is an amber perfume, a fresh amber perfume, no sweetness to it. It's very warming. I love it in the summer. It just, it's very sexy is what it is. It's like the Victoria's Secret model, tan skin, like gorgeous hair, perfect, effortless. Like, I love it. It's so my vibes, especially during the summer. So love. Glossier, Glossier, you. Um, I just repurchased a bottle because I have a sale going on for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Um, and I bought a set where you could buy the um, lotion and the perfume together. And it was cheaper than just buying the perfume at normal price. To say, this is one of my favorite perfumes of all time. It's a musk fragrance. It's a very clean musk. It is a compliment getter for sure. People give me compliments when I wear this all the time. It smells beautiful. Literally, if you just want to smell clean and beautiful, this is a fragrance for you. So this is a love. All right, so Dior Joy. <laughs> I received this as a gift, so I'm not going to declutter it. Um, I have a hard time decluttering things I've received as a gift, you guys, honestly, but I don't love this. It It's just okay. It's an okay perfume. It is a oriental floral. It does smell really good. Um, I love the packaging, but I don't give it enough love compared to my other perfumes. So if I were to declutter it, 
Um, I would probably take a decant of it, um, but it's not my absolute favorite one. I do like it. It's actually really good for work, but to be honest, you guys, I've recently obtained like a different type of employment, so I'm not even worried about like work. Like I can literally wear whatever the hell I want to work now, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, it just, I don't have to worry about wearing work appropriate perfumes, which is lit. I, it's like my, literally my dream to be able to dress however I want and wear whatever I want and, um, not worry about offending people. So it's amazing. So anyway, um, to your joy is a light. Pretty Spears Maui Fantasy. Uh, you guys. I'm probably not going to wear this. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, I got off Mercari for pretty inexpensive because I was collecting the fantasy perfumes. Um, I'm going to put it as a like for now. Um, but don't be surprised if it gets decluttered next year. Your Hypnotic Poison. I have to be honest with you guys. I do like it. Um, it's not like one that I would like go out of my way to repurchase over and over again. Um, lately it's been getting on my nerves. I don't know what it is. There's a liquid note in there. I love it, but it's not it's like when I would repurchase to be honest. <laughs> it's very polarizing. It's like a creamy almondy vanilla perfume. Um, a lot of people love this, but I'm going to put it as a like. Britney Spears Believe. I don't even think you can repurchase this anymore, um, but if you could, I would. It's a green perfume with a little bit of an apple note. It's so unique. And honestly, like, I haven't smelled anything like this again. Like, this perfume is very, very unique. Um, it's really pretty for the summer. So, this is going to be a, like, Versace Cristo Noir. So, this is a very polarizing ginger, coconut, spicy, cold, bitchy perfume. Um, I like this a lot. At first, I didn't like it um, because I had a situation <laughs> with it where I literally smelled it the first time after eating like Thai food and it smelled to me a lot like the food I was eating. So it just was very weird to me, but it was like a mistake. It doesn't smell like Thai food. <laughs> it smells like a coconut, like gingery. It's just so interesting. It's hard to describe. It's oriental, um, very cold. It just, it smells like Rihanna. I feel like Rihanna would smell like this. Um, it's bitchy. It reminds Savage Fenty vibes for sure. Um, would repurchase actually. Yeah. So going in the love. Alik Amethyst. Very good perfume. Um, to be honest, I wore it the other day and it just gave me like a weird like feeling in the back of my throat. I don't know if that makes sense. It is a berry green note perfume. To me, it smells like grape Kool-Aid. Like, honestly, it smells like grape Kool-Aid. Um, I like it. It's not one I would repurchase. It's good for like the gym. It's just probably one I'll throw on once in a while. Um, but it looks how it smells. So God, my baby, I don't even want to put this in the bags. I'm afraid to break it because they don't make this anymore. And this is beautiful. This is Bulgari Crystal Omnia, the Eta Parfum. This is a Lotus Flower Musk fragrance and they have the Eta Toilette, but it's not the same. The other toilet's a very, it's the same type of DNA, but it's a lot sharper and a little bit more aquatic. This one's a little bit more creamier with like a musk note. It's absolutely stunning. And as you can see, I've given a lot of love since I've had it. And I'm carefully using it um, because I, I, and until I can find another one, if you know of where I can find another Bulgari Crystal Omnia Eta Perfume, let me know because I will buy a few because it's one of my favorite summertime perfumes. And that is a love. Would repurchase a million times. So this is Izzy Miyaki um, Leu uh, Pure Nectar. And it's a honey perfume. It's a very beautiful spin on the original Izzy Miyaki perfume for women. Um, I love it. It's definitely one that I would repurchase. Honestly, I am so glad I took the chance and blind bought this on the recommendation of Yana from the scented. It's so good. You guys, it's like fresh, but it has a honey note. It's a little bit, it's like clean, but not too clean. It's a little sweet. It's gorgeous. It's super unique. Um, beautiful. Would put this in the love. The Izmiyaki Floral. Um, this is not one I would repurchase. I like it. Um, it reminds me a little bit of a perfume I love that was discontinued a few years ago, Dolce Gabbana The One Rose, but it's a little bit more fresher and a little bit more aquatic. Um, I like it. It's a good rose fragrance, but no, I would repurchase this a million times. Obviously, this is alien, polarizing jasmine. So sexy, so beautiful. Who doesn't love Alien? I mean, come on. And then Alien Ou Sublime, even better. 
than the original Alien, in my opinion. It has a solar note to it. It's like sunny vibes, but sexy. Like, I don't know. I feel like I would wear this like partying on a beach somewhere. I don't know. It's just gorgeous. I love it so much. For Fedegamo and Canto Charms, really good peach apricot, warm sandalwood, like very cozy fragrance. I love it. I don't think I'd repurchase it just because I want to try other fragrances with this type of vibe, to be honest. And honestly, it's not incredibly unique. It smells very classic, but it's a very, very... Okay, so I was accidentally putting perfumes in the declutter bag. But so far, just to clarify, we only have Marc Jacobs Uso Fresh and Kate Spade Live Colorfully Luxe in the Basura um, bag. So yeah, we have a lot in the other bags. So we're going to have to start getting harsh. Um, I remember I put this in this one and this one as well and now we're adding Sofia Vergara Love which is a declutter because it's just meh you know it's meh and I don't want to feel meh when I wear perfumes I want to feel fucking fabulous so let's go on to Aura by Mugler it's beautiful it is a vanilla perfume with some green notes it's so interesting and honestly Sometimes you smell it and you're just like, what the hell is that? It smells like almost like minty. Um, it's so cool. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, it's like a repurchase a million times type perfume. So Burberry Her. If you, you guys probably already know how I feel about this. This is amazing. This is better than uh, Francis Kirchjan Baccarat Rouge. To me, it's like 10 times better because it has like this berry note. It's a little sweeter. It's gorgeous, gorgeous perfume, super pretty, creamy, like tonic, berries, strawberries. Like I would repurchase this a million times. This is one of my signature scents now. It's gorgeous. And by the way, if you're like, Christina, you barely have like a quarter of it out. It's missing from your perfumes. I mean, I mean, it's pretty good, you know, for some perfumes, if that, a little bit more is missing because like have a few to go through, you know? So this is Victoria's Secret First Love. This one I actually found, I don't know if you can tell by how much I've used, because I just got this, that I like this more than Victoria's Secret Love. Um, it's like a very fresh pear note perfume. It doesn't have the juniper or the apricot that the other love has, but it's very fresh and very girly, um, and I like it a lot. So this is actually a love would repurchase, but I think it's discontinued. Well, who knows? When they have a semi-annual sale, maybe it'll pop up like their discontinued fragrances always do. So this is Armani Cold Cashmere. This is a discontinued fragrance. It is a musky, creamy, leather, vanilla, almond, sexy, beautiful perfume. Um, I do like it a lot. In fact, I love it. If I could repurchase it, I would. Um, but it's not one that's available to repurchase. I was just lucky that I looked out and found this at Kohl's. But it's going in the love. All right. So Coco uh, Mademoiselle by Chanel. This is definitely a love um would repurchase i like this out of all the fragrances from chanel i think this is my favorite one it is very similar to the original coco mademoiselle but this one has a little bit more of a tonka bean a little less patchouli so if you didn't like the patchouli in the original coco mademoiselle you probably would like this um it's a little bit darker as well the lasting power isn't as good as the original coco mademoiselle but it's still a very amazing fragrance uh, dior j'adore you guys already know how i feel about this beautiful champagne white floral it's classy it's one of my signature scents i'll repurchase it over and over again everybody body it's a very warming um comforting fragrance i like it so much for the gym it's actually pretty sexy too um it's great for the winter it's it's a great kind of refreshing fragrance it's winter appropriate because it doesn't make you feel like cold um and it has some woody notes so it stands up to the winter cold um i like it this is one that i probably wouldn't repurchase so it's just a strong like just because it's not like super original it's a rose woody perfume um and it's kind of light so not declutter but like Oh, I love this perfume. This is Kenzo Amor. It's a rice vanilla white tea perfume. It's gorgeous. It smells like rice pudding. This, however, is a strong like. Um, I love it, but I don't know if I would repurchase it just because I do have other vanilla perfumes I like as well. I'm still deciding, though. This is a, a very strong like. I might repurchase it in the future, but this is a very, very, very strong like. It's one of my go-tos for what I'm feeling like I need to relax. But ever since I got my YSL um, or Yves Saint Laurent Libre, 
um, which gives me a very similar feel because it's also like a very lightweight vanilla. I actually like that vibe better than this. So it's going to go in the like, um, would not repurchase sateen. Let's be honest. <laughs> I like the way it smells a lot. It's a very classy, elegant floral perfume. Gives me Chanel vibes, but, but it doesn't last and it becomes a skin set pretty quickly, especially during the winter. Um, and I have perfumes that I like much more than this. Like Elisa, love, would never get rid of it. Mon Guerlain, love, would never get rid of it. This one needs to be decluttered. It's just okay. Like honestly, it's just okay. For me, I feel like if you're looking for a affordable, classy, elegant perfume that you could wear to work um, and not be offensive, this would be a good one. But like I said, I can wear whatever the fuck I want now. So this is going into the declutter. You are Elisa Bleu Parfum. You guys already know how I feel about this. Honeysuckle, orange blossom, jasmine, like just beautiful. If you want to smell beautiful, this is the perfume to wear. Um, I love it. It's going into the love. What a purchase. Mon Guerlain et Toilette. Literally my favorite version of Mon Guerlain. It's bright, lavender, vanilla. Gorgeous. Would love forever and ever and ever. Love. Abercrombie and Fitch, number one. Undone. You know what? This perfume doesn't get enough love. This is one of my favorite perfumes, probably from Abercrombie & Fitch that has ever came out. It is a citrusy, peony, like musky, beautiful floral perfume. It's very clean smelling, very girly, um, and it's just not too much. It doesn't become a skin scent. It's actually very elegant and pretty. Um, I'm going to put this as a like, but I wouldn't repurchase it personally. Jessica Simpson, Vintage Bloom. This is a lemon pie type perfume, but with some very elegant floral notes. I love the bottle. I think, like I said, Jessica Simpson is fire with her perfumes, um, but this is a like would not repurchase. Just because for me, lemon isn't a perfume note that I love. If I'm going to wear something like refreshing, especially during the summer, I'd much rather wear a tea fragrance. That's just me. Um, I'm not the lemon girl. I don't even think lemon smells all that great on my skin, um, but I do like this perfume. It's just not one that I would repurchase. Yes. Stella McCartney Pop Bluebell. This is absolutely stunning. Like, stunning. It has, like, um, if you live, I think in parts of Europe as well as, as like, the southern part of the States has blue bonnet and blue bell fields. Um, if you've ever been near it, you know it has, like, a greeny, sweet, sort of powdery scent to it, the flower. Um, this has bluebell notes in it. It's very unique. It has a very fresh vibe to it, but at the same time, it dries down to almost like an irisy powdery type scent. It's super unique. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is the lasting power is not the greatest. So this is a like when not repurchase, but I plan on trying other perfumes. I know Joe Malone makes a Bluebell perfume as well. So I, apply, I do plan on trying other perfumes with this note in it. So maybe I'll find something I like better and then I'll declutter it. So Vera Wang... Embrace, Periwinkle, and Iris. <sighs> okay, so I'll be honest. I got this in a kit. Um, and I do like the uh, green tea perfume uh, quite a lot. And I like the other one that came in it, which is a marigold perfume. This one I did not like. It is a sweet, powdery iris. The sweet smell, I'm assuming, is a periwinkle. It's just a little odd on my skin. Um, it becomes something that almost smells like kid like, like a child, like, I don't know, it's just very weird, it's, like, very sweet, almost like a powdery bubble gum, it's a little odd, so for me, it's just not for me, so I'm going to declutter it. This is Carolina Herrera, um, 212 VIP NYC, this is a perfume with a rum note, I love it, it reminds me of partying in Vegas, um, this is definitely something I could wear out to a club, or when I want to have fun, um, it's beautiful, I love it, this is definitely a very particular perfume, I think a lot of people would not like this, but I love it. If you like rum, <laughs> you'd probably like this. Fierce Fantasy OG. To be honest, I like it. I don't love it. Um, I much prefer the Midnight Fantasy. Um, and I have Midnight Fantasy, and I'm barely using it. And I do like the original Fantasy, you guys. Like, don't get me wrong. This is actually a really good perfume. Um, it's just very common, berry notes, sweet, basic, I mean, it probably would be good for the gym, but I don't think I'm going to use it. And I never thought I would declutter this, but I'm going to declutter it um, because am I going to use it? No, I would much rather wear Midnight Fantasy, the one in the purple bottle. Poison Girl at a Toilet. 
I love this. This is like a very mandarin, sweet, sticky, beautiful scent. Um, it really warms up on your skin and it turns into something beautiful, especially in the summer. This is like a love for me. Love would repurchase. You sent Laurent Montpellier. I'm almost done with it. It is a very basic fruity floral. <laughs> it smells good. It's a very like common smelling delicious perfume. I have other perfumes I much prefer by Yves Saint Laurent, but I will finish it because um, I'm almost done with it. It's a like. So next we have Layered Cherry Delight. You guys, I literally want to buy the perfume that this is inspired by, which is Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. It's a cherry perfume with like almond and it's just delicious like beautiful and bright and just so gorgeous i love it would repurchase it but probably the real um fair wing embrace mary golden gardenia this is the one i loved the most from this little set it is a very bright like bright sunshine smelling gardenia um very warm and elegant it's so pretty and this is a very like random fragrance like I wouldn't think this would be as good as it is but it's super good so this is actually one I would go out of my way to repurchase love Narciso Rodriguez for her we talked about the battle between this and modern muse and honestly you guys this is a gift that I gave that got regifted back to me isn't that so sad <laughs> I gave this to my mom she hated it and so I tried it and I didn't I didn't hate it like I don't hate it but I know what she means by it. It's a very strong musk. It has a very soapy sharpness at the top. Um, it has bergamot, and I forgot what other notes, but it almost has a bit of a masculine sharpness when it opens, and then it dries down to a sort of light musk fragrance, but honestly, I think Modern Muse by Estee Lauder is much better. I think Glossier U is much better. I think Narciso Rodri Rodriguez in general has like better fragrances. The Poudre is better. The original Narciso in the White Cube is better than this. This is just not one I would recommend. But I know people do love this, so it's going to be D lettered. Moving right along. We're almost done, guys. So this is Marc Jacobs Decadence. Um, what can I say about this? It's a plummy green note perfume. Um, I like it. I got rid of the top because I think the top's tacky. Um, but I like a lot of my other green note perfumes a lot more. So I would not repurchase this, but it's good. It's sexy. It's very polarizing. Um, it's good. It's a like, but I wouldn't repurchase it. This I wore today and I'm now addicted to this, you guys. This is Layered, My Sweet Dark Fantasy. It's a play on Killian's Good Girl Gone Bad. It's like a tuberose, light, kind of sweet, like very sexy, but not too sexy, elegant, beautiful fragrance. I love it. Like, I love it. It does something so beautiful on my skin. Um, the Killian version, I'm, sh I'm sure, like is better. I haven't smelled it in a really long time. Um, I think I've smelled it only on paper, but... I want the Killian version now. And I think this is a great way to, because Layered honestly sent me these fragrances. But I think this is a great way to try an expensive niche fragrance um, if they make a version of it like this before you go to shell out $300 on it and find out that you don't like it, you know? Um, and yeah, I love this so much. So obviously it's going into the love because I'm purchasing the more expensive version of it. Right, so. This is Victoria's Secret Tease Heartbreaker. I've been meaning to declutter this, but I keep it keeps escaping back into my collection. Um, it's okay. It's I got it for um, like on the twelve ninety nine rack of Victoria's Secret when they had their sale last year, I think. Declutter. Oh, to Tommy Bahama Saint Kitts. This is amazing, you guys. Amazing, very tropical, beautiful elegant like very pretty fragrance i love it if you like um tropical vibe fragrances uh i highly recommend you give this brand a try no one talks about it and their perfumes are actually really really good so this is a love i would repurchase st kitts and um st barks as well both of them they're both in there right yeah okay good <laughs> um jessica simpson fancy you guys already know how i feel about this this is a love would repurchase a million times um Victoria's Secret Bombshell Wildflower. Okay, I'm going to be honest. It's okay. Um, I like the original Bombshell better, but honestly, I'm very much over Victoria's Secret fragrances, you guys. I will finish this up, but this is a like, and I won't repurchase it. Salvatore Ferragamo in con No, Signorina at <laughs> a toilette. Super beautiful, 
like great fruity, bright, floral, gorgeous, like super girly. Um, I do like it a lot. I just wouldn't repurchase this one. I probably would get the Eda Parfum, but it's a strong like. And I saw Le Parfum White. This is one I actually want to get the full size bottle of. It's so beautiful. I want to say I like this a little bit more than I like the original LA Saab Le Parfum. It's like the original DNA, but lighter and sweeter. And it's really good. Um, I got this 10 ml sample size and I love this. Love it. This is just Mongerlani. You already know I love it. Vera Wang Embrace. Uh, green tea, and pear blossom. I would say this is a strong like. Um, I did mention this in my cozy fragrances video. It's really pretty. It's probably my favorite green tea fragrance I own in my collection right now. Um, and probably the best one I've found because green tea is a note that can get super green. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put it as a like when not repurchased. Britney Spears Intimate Fantasy. It's one of the most beautiful underrated celebrity fragrances that exists. It's a musky, creamy floral with berries. It's beautiful. This is a love. And then in here, I have some samples, which I'm not going to go through the samples, you guys, but the Semper fragrances, I am going to tell you which ones I'm keeping in. So these are my 10 ml Semper fragrances, which I do enjoy Semper a lot because I like trying fragrances like this. So this is Agua de Parma Rosa Noble. Honestly, I was very disappointed in this fragrance. The lasting power is not good. Um, it smells okay. Like it's just a rose woody fragrance but the lasting power is like non-existent um and for the price like it's definitely not worth it so it's getting decluttered okay so the next one i have is the agua de parma um Ar arancia de capri i think this is actually a men's fragrance but i like it it's a very bright like fresh bergamonte citrusy woody fragrance it's beautiful so this is i'm keeping and these are just the cases to my scent birds um, this is Juliet Has a Gun Moscow Mule. It's a very, very good summer fragrance. It literally, as you can tell, I've used quite a bit of it. It smells like a Moscow Mule. This is one that I want to buy a full-size bottle of. I've been really impressed so far with the Juliet Has a Gun fragrances. And this is a good one, so I'm keeping it. This one is Valentino Dona Rosa Verde. This is also on my wish list, um, thanks to Semper. I love it so much, you guys. So much. It's a green note, like bright floral perfume it's it's very elegant is what it is and this is a tat labor the orange um remarkable people uh you know at first i liked it it had a champagne grapefruit note but i wore it the other day i think i'm gonna keep it just to try it in the summer because i wore it the other day and it literally turned sour on me i don't know if it just doesn't work with my skin chemistry but sometimes it happens during the winter so i'm gonna try it again during the summer and see what it does we have finished so that's my declutter bag which you know I have a few fragrances in there but it's not as much as I thought was going to be in there so I'm actually really proud of myself because I looked into my bags and most of the fragrances I own are in the love wood repurchase bag and that's what I my goals are like I want to love every single fragrances that I ha like that I have like I want to love them want to reach for them, want to buy them again, and feel amazing when I wear them. So it makes me happy that most of them are loves. My like is pretty full, but surprisingly, my like pile, I feel like is not as full as I thought it was going to be. I thought there was going to be mostly fragrance I liked, but didn't love enough to repurchase. And it's the opposite, which I'm really happy about. And that's my declutter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it fun. It was a lot of fun doing it. Um, I'm going to put everything up and post some stuff to Mercari and go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.